I'm, a, I'm Matt Ronley. I'm a senior major in math and economics, and I'm going to be doing a problem from last year's Putnam contest. I've chosen a problem uh, to, to show you that's probably in the medium range of difficulty for the contest. I'd say the vast majority of people in the contest didn't get this problem, since the, the median is usually zero or one or two. Um, out of the top 200 contestants, I think about 60 got full points, uh, so definitely even among those, uh, it wasn't an easy problem by any means. Uh, this, is, this is one of those that I was lucky enough to solve, so I'm not just going to make up a story about how I solved it. What I'd like to do at the beginning, uh, since it's really difficult to get a grasp on what's going on, is just write down some examples and see what happens. So um, you have a sequence, and so say it goes one, you know, four, five, it can be any sequence. And then there's this operation that they want you to apply to it. And what that is is replacing two, two numbers in the sequence by their greatest common divisor and their least common multiple. And these are things that, uh, if you remember doing fractions or something in elementary school, you, you probably had to deal with. Um, and, and so you can just pick a few examples and see what happens. So um, 4 and 10, for instance, their greatest common divisor is 2. And then their uh, least common multiple is 20. So you replace it. And then you keep going. 20 and 2, their greatest common divisor is 2. Least common multiple is 20. And so on. And what this problem says is that eventually uh, this process will stop. And you have to prove that it stops. And not only that, but no matter how you apply this operation, it has to end at exactly the same sequence every single time. So I could just apply this at random to any pairs of numbers in, in any sequence, and the final sequence I get when I can't do this any longer, which means that when I choose any two numbers and apply this operation, I'm just going to get the same sequence that I, start, that I had before. Uh, it only depends on the first sequence I have. Uh, and so, what I'd normally do is maybe write this out a little more uh, and, and sort of get a feel for what's happening. Now, to show that it stops, there's a fairly standard thing that I'm going to have to do. And that's uh, to say that uh, I'm going to have to find some property of these sequences. And then I'm going to have to sort of summarize it in some kind of number or, or, or whatever. And then show that it's going in a particular direction and that it, it sort of can't go further than something. And that, that sounds a little abstract right now, but the idea I thought of uh, was that you want to look at the sum of all these numbers. And it turns out that if you look at the sum of all of them, it's always increasing when you do this. Um, so for instance, when I took 4 and 10 and replaced them by 2 and 20, the sum went from 14 to 22. And you actually can prove it's not that difficult that the sum's always going to stay, this, it's always going to increase. And so the sum's always increasing. But at the same time, the product of all these numbers stays the same. And so just looking at this and eyeballing it, I realize that those are two really important properties. And since the sum keeps increasing, there's a, there's a point beyond which it can't possibly increase. Because the, these numbers have to multiply up to equal something. And based on that, you can show that the sum is, can't be higher than something. Uh, and so right away then, I'm done with half the problem. I can say, look, uh, this, this has to stop at some point because the sum has to keep is going to keep increasing if the process actually does something, but the sum can't possibly go higher than some, this some particular number that's its upper bound. Uh, so that's half the problem. Uh, and so that's probably the easier half. And there's a lot of different ways to show that. Um, in fact, this some way was what I kind of came up with on the spot, but it wasn't something that was in the sort of official solutions at all. They had other ways of showing it um, that, depending on your perspective, could be better or worse.